Oh, one of them is it too, Baran? No, no. Ah, oh, yeah, number five, Vile. Yeah, number five. She's Ankara Malaya, the ambitious. Yeah, hey. Even a city up, eh? Visa, sir. Hmm. I chisel all a moon shake. Let's do it. Okay. Malaya is I want to say. I am the alone, the cans. I don't know if it's a corner for my own. So, I'm going to go to So this is uh, another video that I'm doing today on how to make compost uh, manure and um, I've shared right here on YouTube and Facebook the other videos that you can look at where I explained in details. So you need three many things, the dry grass for example like this or dry leaves. And you need the greens, like for example, I'm harvesting this maize and I'm using this green stuff, uh, the maize stalks that remains. And also you need manure to add, to complete your compost uh, heap. So you can make these layers and you can control the smell by adding lime or ashes. Then you need to be checking the temperature to make sure that it doesn't burn a lot and start stinking or overburn, you know. So for me, I use, this is cow dung. It's the one I'm mixing with my compost manure. So we are doing conservation farming, organic farming. Not yet at 100% because of the transition period that takes from a field that uh, you are using fertilizers. It takes a bit of time, five years or more actually, to decontaminate the soil. So that's been the exercise I'm doing. So let's go see the tractor. So this is the field that we'll be using a manure. It's a new field. Uh, there was some in yours way back, but it's the first time we're putting uh, pineapples and other crops like maize, pepper, impo and um, leafy vegetables. So if you've got questions, concerns, you can always hit me up my inbox in the comment section i always respond 
and get back to your queries. You've been with your number one farmer, Panambeu, Felix Mbewe, all the way from Zambia, Africa. Love you guys. Wish you success and continuous progress in 